Uh, talking about the youth, how, how bad is this whole vape and addiction to nicotine? Well, you know, it's, it's not just the addiction to nicotine. It's how, how it's the vehicle that we're using to get nicotine, you know, into kids. Because, you know, when I was growing up, everybody was smoking cigarettes. And then it became really gross and kind of uncool to smoke cigarettes. But it's super, super easy to vape. Yeah. Right? I mean, you can, it smells like blueberry. Just it's pull it out. Yeah, and it and it doesn't infect the rest of the room. I mean, if I would if I'm vaping, the people over there are not choking to death, you know. Um, so it was almost better uh, that people smoked because smoking, be, you know, made your hands stink, made your clothes smell. People in other in the restaurants, you know, they they outlawed it in restaurants. It became yeah. a lot harder to smoke smell cigarettes. Like shit. Yeah, I never thought. Yeah, about you that. smell like That's shit. That's a good take on that. But now it's now it's just super easy and super accessible. Um, how, so how actually bad is it for your body? Well, it's really bad for your body. I mean, nicotine is right up there with heroin in terms of its level of addiction. What the fuck? Um, yeah, not in terms of oh, the damage. Oh, I thought okay, you said addiction. I was about to say, all right. Yeah, an addiction. I thought it was like... He was like, oh, I was like, what? I'm fucked. No, I heard addiction. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I really didn't realize this This whole podcast was going to be about drugs and smoking and drinking. This is maybe the first time I've ever spent this much time on that. But, but you think about it, but now... Um, you know, it's, it's like, I, I saw Andrew Tate talking about smoking cigars the other day and somebody asked him, he, they were like, well, if you, you, you smoke cigars, but you're, you're against vaping. He's like, yeah, I know what's in this cigar. It's tobacco and, you know, chop tobacco and, and, and the roll. And he's like, when I look at a vape pen, I'm like, um, tobacco doesn't come in pumpkin spice. Right. So what's happening to that? How are they creating that pumpkin spice? Well, that's a chemical. Right. And um, and some of these are forever chemicals. So, you know, n nicotine causes damage, but these forever chemicals can cause permanent damage. Popcorn lung. So you see respiratory disease in younger and younger and younger ages now. Permanent respiratory disease, what they call popcorn lung in really young ages. I mean, kids are, kids are starting to vape at 11 years old now. All right. I'm quitting. Um, yeah, I'm going to quit. So. How about Zins? <laughs> How about Zins? I haven't, I haven't really checked those out. What are the, is that just nicotine? It's like the pouches. Little nicotine pouches. Yeah, I'd rather you take straight nicotine pouches than, you know, I mean, the, no nicotine smoke, in right? small doses is, is linked to being a neurotropic. You know, it's actually... So Zins are confirmed better activity. than darts. I would much rather you take, if that's just pure nicotine, take that than um, smoke a vapor, smoke, smoke cigarettes, because that's where the delivery system is creating the damage, right? Um you know, a lot of times the delivery system is creating the damage. It's fucking, dude, 11 years old, that's... Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. It's, it's crazy how young they are. Because it's, it's not really so taboo. It's like, a, you know, a blueberry vape or, you know, pumpkin, pumpkin spice vape. And they can just throw it in their bag. Mom and dad don't know they're doing it. The whole house doesn't stink. Yeah. It's not like they're doing bong hits in their room. Yeah, you can hide that pretty easily, too. Yeah, you can conceal it pretty easily. I mean, it's crazy how, you know... Um, you know, that's, that's one of the hardest things that I work with clients too, is to get them, you know, get them off of those things, which by the way, the cold plunge works great for, right? You can, you can, you can replace that dopamine hit with a cold plunge. I mean, you, if, if you smoke, um, or do anything else that raises your dopamine, do you do, you do blow, just do that. And then the next day, try getting in a cold plunge for three minutes and get out and see how much better you feel longer. And then you'll have a new drug of choice. It's just that a lot of people don't, they haven't thought about that option, right? I can tap into that same feeling that I'm chasing with cigarettes or vape or with cocaine. I can actually, I can actually get that feeling and have a positive, you know, result. So I'm not, I'm not against you trying to feel the way that those things make you feel, but maybe you just make a different choice on how yeah. you get there.